What's up guys? I am Mary Grace. Isa na namang wonderful day ang hatid namin sa inyong lahat. One sign of being a successful entrepreneur is not just having a business, but continuing a legacy and making it bigger. How to be you po? 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 It's another wonderful day, folks. Mary Grace here. Are you ready to be inspired? How to be you po, the entrepreneur stories. Katulad na lamang ng ating featured entrepreneur for today. When she got involved in the business of her parents, she saw potential to a much bigger venture. Kaya naman pinalawak niya ang kanilang bag manufacturing business and eventually catered to retail and corporate clients with their own branding. Kung paano niya ito nagawa, yan ang ating aalamin. Ms. Cathy Tolentino Adjas, How to be you po! Tigati, how to be po? Nagsimula ang lahat as a home-based business by their parents, Godi and Celia Tolentino in 1992, supplying school bags and pouches sa mga local retailers. At nandito po tayo sa Bags in the City and joining us today is the owner, Miss Cathy Tolentino Adjas. Hello, Miss Cathy! Hi, MG! Nako po, unang pagdating ko po dito, nagustuhan ko lahat ng nasa display. Kung pwede lang bilhin ko lahat. <laughs> And I'm so excited to know more about the business. My mom started Bags in the City. Actually, it's not really Bags in the City pa yung name. So it's a different company name way back 1990s. So she started with one sewing machine and a capital of 5,000. Pumunta lang siya sa Bibisoria and then nag-alok sa ng bag and then she got a dozen orders na isang style ng bag and then boom na siya. <laughs> and then eventually, yun, ginawa niya. Then as I say, the rest is history. Miss Cathy, how to be you po? Nung bata kami, we were really exposed na sa, sa mga bazaars, mm. ganyan. So, sinasama niya kami pag deliveries, kahit hanggang Pampanga. So, kahit purchasing ng materials, sinasama nila kami. So, and then, pag nagbabazar kami, usually, uh, before it was in, ano pa, uh, famous yung uh, Pasig Palengke pa nun. So, masama talaga kami dun. So, as early as mga 4.30 a.m., Nagi ingress na kami hanggang lunch time, so kami lahat, wala kami tindera kami lang talaga. Soon enough, nagawa na rin nilang mag-establish ng kanilang sariling brand, Bags in the City. So, it's, of course, it's mostly bags, and then, uh, so different bags like mga sling bags, backpacks, so kahit ano, like travel bags, and we also have mga leather, small leather goods, like passport holders, mga travel wallets, luggage tags, ganyan. Right now, kasi ang trend, it's um, traveling talaga. Especially sa lahat ngayon, ipopost mo. So, yun. College pa lang ako. Nag-work na ako for the company. So, parang part-time. And nag-join na rin ako sa mga bazaar sa schools, different schools. So, parang doon ako nag-start din. And then, 
nag-work ako for uh, retail industry also for uh, an imported brand. It is a corporate line? Yes, okay. corporate line. So, as a buyer. So, doon medyo na ano ko, na nakita ko na kailangan everyone has to experience that. Noong 2004, nang magsimulang sumali sa mga bazaar ang magkakapatid na sina Kathy, Candy at Tina at doon din nila nakita ang potential ng kanilang existing business. Uh, it started 2004, tapos we started na rin joining bazaars. So from there, doon na kami talaga tuloy-tuloy na nakilala and then we started also selling sa Multiply. <laughs> Multiply pa noon. So, and then yun nga, ngayon, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, ang mga challenges talaga na napagdaanan namin is yung, syempre yung how do you keep up with the trend, yung mga how do you update yourself sa mga bagong um, styles, ganyan, colors, and materials. So yun pa isang problem namin dito as a manufacturer kasi wala tayong um, supply talaga dito. So we have to get some abroad and then so it affects the cost and also the timing of the champagne release mo ng item for you. And Scotty, how to be you po? Making sure every product in their boutique was flawless, hindi nagdalawang isip ang magkakapatid na sumabay sa mga naglalakihang brands. My sister, siya yung nag, uh, nag uh, isip ng mga design, our older sister. So we take inspirations also from other brands, of course, but actually the silhouettes of the bags, pare-parehas lang naman yan. So what's important is the material for us, and of course the quality and the price. Our styles are very classic lang. So, simple silhouettes, ganyan. And the colors are very basic, like for mga, work, for mga working moms, ganyan, or students. So, yun. Ang bag ay ginagamit ng lahat. Mapababae man o lalaki. At Mutual Prada ang kauna-unahang gumawa ng unisex bags that was launched back in 1985. Basically, uh, syempre yung maraming problems, but along the way, you will learn from it and of course, you just you have to admit that there's a problem at first and then second, you find a solution to that problem. And then, of course, huwag mo na ulitin yung, prob yung mga problema nyo. So, you really have to learn from those mistakes. Uh, of course, syempre, number one is patience and perseverance. So, tsaka yung resiliency mo kasi yung all the trials that you will encounter. So, kung medyo mahina yung loob mo talagang you'll give up. Pero we're lucky because our parents started the business so meron na silang parang technical background or yung mga experiences nila so they learned from it and then nasa-share nila yun sa amin. Miss Cathy, how to be you po? Ngayon, di lang kumikita ang kanilang business, nakakatulong din sila sa livelihood ng kanilang mga trabahador. Our parents would always say na okay lang kahit need yung, alam mo yun, it's not about kailangan marami kang pera. It's not always about that. It's always about sustaining the business. Mm -hmm. for Not just for you, but also for the employees that you have. So, kasi uh, the employees, laging multiply mo yun by five because yun yung umaasa sa kanila. So, that's mm -hmm. always what they teach us. Yung dati kasi nag-work ako for uh, retail industry also. So, syempre, it's all about profit. Ganyan. Pero as you go along, it's about sustaining the business. So yung mga employees mo, yung napag-aaral nila yung mga anak nila, yung mga gano'n. Miss Cathy, how to be you po? Not only do they want their business to prosper, gusto rin nilang mag-excel ang kanilang workers to their full potential. And someday, do better at life and build their own businesses. After all, ang business ay nagre-realize sa masisipag at loyal na workers. It's a good feeling actually, syempre, and kasi nag-start nag din kami, yung iba naming employees are mostly alas 10 years na, even the first employees that was with us, yung first and kasama ng mga dad ko. So, hanggang sa napatapos na, and then yung iba nasa abroad na, mm. so yun. And also, we also, I love also the feeling na since we also cater to mga work out, Stay at home moms, so parang we they, we also offer mga wholesale prices, so they can sell online or bazaar, so nakakaran sila na extra income or yun. And then mga working moms, so misa pupunta sila dito lunch break, and then bibili sila like try muna, and then pag Christmas yun tuloy tuloy na.
aside from the design, um, I think yung bags namin are very classic na. Hindi siya yung masyadong trendy. So, gagamitin mo talaga siya over the years. And, um, of course, second is the price. Because that's really important nowadays. And the quality. Alam nyo ba na ang handbags ay initially made for men? At may mga patunay rito mula pa sa panahon ng Asian Egypt. Tips and advice ko talaga sa mga gusto pumasok sa any business um, is of course we have to pray talaga hard and of course natutunan namin yan na when you pray and have a moment of silence you'll have better decisions. Yung um, honesty mo sa mga clients mo very important yun na like uh, anong materials yung um, dapat honest ka sa price na binibigay mo sa kanila and the delivery dates na kinokommit mo sa kanila. And also, of course, very important is to have trustworthy employees because sila yung parang extension mo sa kamay and paa mo. So, talagang very important yun. HJK from London ang gumawa ng first ever luxury handbag na makikita sa Amsterdam Handbag Museum. So, Ms. Cathy, please do introduce us sa ating first step when it comes um, to doing that. So, bags. of course, your first step is the purchasing ng material. So, pag andito na yung material, so, ayan, kinakat na ni Romel ang aming cutter. So, ayan, uh, so, may pattern na rin. So, susundan niya lang. Um, pwede rin po yung pattern na ito sa ibang klaseng materials. Yes. Uh, kung ano, pwede rin silang gumamit na ito is a synthetic leather so pwede rin um, fabric ganyan. So pwede rin uh, like mga native materials so printed fabric, canvas, pwede rin. And so, so ito na yung pinaka isang size yes, ng bag. Yes, ito na. So very simple. This is called the Pika Tote, Tote Bag. bag yes. At uh, na-mention nyo kanina, it's one of the best sellers. Yes. And uh, we're doing it since mga 2013 pa. Yeah. So, so yeah. So two piece na yung bike handle naman yung next. Uh, so this is the pattern para dun sa handle. Ayan. So with peekaboo tote bag, meron tayong specific size na kailangan kaya meron tayong pattern. So nakakat na yung pattern ng bag in the city. At tulad ng ginawa ni Kuya Romel kanina, ipinatong lang niya sa ating synthetic yes. leather for us to create this yes. one. Ayan. At same thing with the handles. So now we already have the handle plus the body itself. At ang ating next step po ay sa sewing area. Sewing area. So, tara po! We're now going to our um, sewing area. Ayan. So, this is Abbott. So, siya yung aming sample maker. So, una po, pag sa, sa system, ang kinukuha is handle. Handle muna. So, ipofold lang center. Ayan. So, patapos na tayo sa ating second handle. handle. Ngayon po, lalagyan na ni Kuya Abet. Abet ng marking para sa sukat pag tinahi niya. How long ka na ba, Kuya Abet, dito sa Bags in the City? Ilan na ba? Eleven. Eleven! Uy! Loyalty is the key talaga. Hmm. Yung kahit na nakapikit na si Kuya Abet, kaya na lang mag <laughs> magsukat-sukat at mag-tahe. Tahe, true. Uh -huh. Ating ngayon, ang kinakabit po ni Kuya Obet is the other side of the yes. handle. Kasi uh -oh. meron na tayong nagawang... Nakabit na natin yung first sa kabilang side. side. Yes. And after nating makabit yung handle sa body Mag or sa front side, ano po yung magiging Ito na, i-attach natin yung side. So, kamukha yung ginagawa ni Abet ngayon. Mm -hmm. Kinakabit na sa isang side. Sa isang side. Konting-konti na lang yes. magbubuo ni ating <laughs> tote bag.
Ayan, so tapos na yung ating step. Actually, kung makikita nyo yun, usually the bad side, minsan di pinapansin ng ibang tao. Ito kahit nakabaligtad siya, very clean yung lines and uh, very pulido talaga kung titignan mo. So, quality talaga is first. Ayan. So, now, para makita natin yung buong bag, babalik na, babalik na rin natin siya. Boto. Thank you, Kuya Obet. <laughs> Ayan. Tapos yung pouch ito. Insert na lang. So, there you have it. We already have the tote bag. Very Ayan. quick and easy. At? Ito yung pouch. Pouch inside. Ayan. Na removable pouch. Yes. Ayan. So, Thank ready you. to go! Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Pa! Ayan. And right now, i-customize na natin with our name. So, like, yeah. for instance, today, yung name ko, Mary Grace. Oh, ayan. Ayan. So, we're ready lang yung templates. Ayan. Mainit siya pala. Yes. <laughs> Hindi kasi Mainit babaon. Mainit pala siya. Hindi oh. babaon. So, now, yung sa bag na ginawa natin kanina, nalagyan na natin siya ng pangalan. At tulad ng na-mention ni Ms. Cathy kanina, maximum letters... Uh, nine. nine. Nine letters. Yes. Sakto! <laughs> Customize na siya with our name. Yes. Perfect ito for mga souvenirs, giveaways, yes. even to weddings yes. and events. Uh -huh. They can give this out. Like small bridesmaids na nakapangalan. Yay! We're done! And we're now done with our bag. So as we have mentioned earlier, we can have it customized. So tulad ko, yung pangalan ko nandito na at yung color preference natin is just very chill and plain. Thank you so yes. much, Miss Cathy, for you. teaching us how to do our very best-selling tote bag. I hope you like the bag. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yan, so after natin gumawa ng bag, so syempre meron mga natitarang scraps or retaso. So, yan. So, naisip namin to make mga smaller items. Like, for example, this keychain. So, ayan. So, ito lang siya. So, ito yung scrap tela. And then, ikot mo lang siya dun sa ring. And then, just add a three bits or a snap. So, sa keychain or it. So, very easy lang siya. Yes. Very practical. Yes. Para walang nasasayang. Yes. At ito naman! Super, I love the idea. <laughs> Yeah, it's a cable organizer, so it comes in different shapes. So, yan. Ika-cut mo lang siya like this. Actually, it's like a cloud. Tapos, i-wrap mo lang. And then, you'll add the screws for this. Yeah. So, ikot mo lang. You don't need any machines. So, yan. Ayan na siya. Finished. Ayan. So, another example pa is this... um. It's a credit card holder with uh, plastic sleeves, so you can insert yung mga cards mo. Or, or even IDs, yeah, diba? Yeah, pwede rin. Mm -hmm. So, it's as simple as this. Parang rectangular scrap lang siya. And then, lalagyan na natin ng hole on both sides. And then, we have this uh, plastic sheets. And then, we'll just screw them all together. So, para lang tayo nag art class. Yes. So actually, papatakbuhin lang natin yung creativity yes. natin in any type of business, lalo na sa mga fashion-related business, mm -hmm. tulad ng Bags in the City. Pag just spark the creativity and uh, the way how we use yung ating mga materials and uh, raw mats, yes. mapapatakbo na natin yung negosyo. Mm -hmm. At ayan sa lahat ng ating mga aspiring entrepreneurs out there, just keep in mind lahat ng mga tips and advice ni Ms. Cathy para maging successful din tayo sa inyong sisimula na business. Again, thank you so thank much you, po. Angie. Maraming salamat for sharing us your time and your story. <laughs> From being home-based business, pwede na rin mabisita ang kanilang magandang store sa Mandaluyo. You can visit our store. It's located at 148C San Francisco Street. Mandaluyong City, we also have an outlet store. It's at 2nd Floor Shaw Center Mall, Mandaluyong City. And you can also visit our Facebook page, Instagram page, and our website, bagsinthecitymanila.com.
nagsimula sa maliit hanggang lumaki ang kanilang business venture. At sa kanilang paglago, kasama dito ang kanilang minamahal na empleyado. But despite their current success, patuloy pa rin sila sa pag-innovate while staying true to their core values. Muli ako po si Mary Grace and thank you for watching How to Be You Po, The Entrepreneur Stories.